This past paper question is from the Advanced Higher 2019 Written 3B. Now, if we read what the question is actually wanting us to do, which is uh, at the bottom of the question, it asks us to calculate the percentage by mass of copper in the screw. So at the final step, which is final six, we're going to write percentage is equal to mass over sample and then times by 100. And we should always be able to find one piece of information in the text. And we can see that the mass of the screw was given as 1.43. So that is the sample size and times by 100. So to complete this calculation, we would need to have the mass of the copper screw. So over here at step number five, we would have mass is equal to number of moles times the GFM. And we can look up in the data booklet the gram formula mass for copper, which is 63.5. So to complete this calculation, which subs in here, we would need to be able to calculate the number of moles. Now we know that we've got two triangles, we can either use the MNGFM triangle or the NCV. And if we scan the question, we can see that we have got concentration given in the graph as the x-axis unit. So we're going to be using N is equal to C times V. What we want to do is we want to scan the question to see what the volume is of our sample. So if we go all the way up to the top of the question, we can see that it says the resulting solution was made up to 250 centimetres cubed in a volumetric flask. So we would do times 250 divided by 1000. So what we're wanting to do now is we want to use the graph to find the concentration. So to do that, what we have to first be able to do is we have to be able to work out what each box represents on the X and the Y axis. So to do this, what we want to do is we want to take the first two numbers that were given on the X axis and we take them away from one another. So we would do 0 0.01, take away zero, would give me 0 0.01. How many boxes is there along? One, two, three, four, five. So we'll divide by five boxes. And when I pop that into my calculator, 0 0.01 divided by five, that means that each individual box represents 0 0.002. We do the same for the y-axis, the first two numbers that were given. So here we have got 0 0.1 minus 0, which equals 0 0.1. Divide it by how many boxes up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Divide by 5 boxes. And when we pop that into the calculator, 0 0.1 divided by 5 boxes that means each box represents 0 0.02. Now, we want to obtain a concentration that we can use to work out um, the rest of our calculation. So for that, what we can see is in the question at the bottom, they give us the absorbance of the diluted solution. And the value that they give us is 0 0.34. So we want to go up to 0 0.3. Remember, each box is worth 0 0.02. So we want to go up two boxes, one, two. And using your ruler, you want to, we're going to use a highlighter so it's a little bit easier for you to follow. We want to draw a line from 0 0.04 to where it meets the calibration line. We then want to extrapolate that down to obtain the concentration for that particular absorbance. And what we can see is that is one box along from 0 0.03. So I have 0 0.03 
plus, if I look at my x-axis, I've got one box along. So plus 0 0.002. And that gives me the concentration given here as 0 0.032. So at this point, we've got a relationship between absorbance and concentration. We had the absorbance given in the question as 0 0.34 and the absorbance we worked out was 0 0.032. Now, we can pop that into here, 0 0.032. And we'll times that by 0 0.25. And that would give me the number of moles in the question as 8 times 10 to the minus 3. So that's the actual number of moles that we've got for that particular absorbance. However, there's a tricky little step. And that little step is that we have 8 times 10 to the minus 3 number of moles found in the maximum concentration of 0 0.05 that's given as the last plot on the calibration line. Now, if we look at the information in the question, it tells us that five standard solutions were prepared by diluting a 0 0.1 mole per litre stock solution. This was for a 0 0.05 mole per litre stock solution. So what we have to do is we actually have to scale that for 0 0.1. So if that number of moles is found in 0 0.05 mole per litre, we need to scale for 0 0.1. So we would cross multiply. So the math would be 8 times 10 to the minus 3 times 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.05. So if I pop that into my calculator, times by 0 0.1 equals divided by 0 0.05, that will give me th that number of moles. So we've got 0 0.016. Now, this is the number of moles that we can insert into step 5. 0 0.016 times by 63.5, which is the GFM of copper, comes in at 1.016 grams. We can now insert that into this part of the calculation. 1.016 divided by 1.43 equals times by 100. And that gives us a percentage of 71%. And this is the final answer.